Before I start this movie review, I just want to give a big shout out to IMDb, where I get all my information and fun facts from. What's up, everyone? Movie Mania Nick here with another movie review. Actually, another Christmas movie review. This time, the movie is Disney's The Santa Claus, which came out in 1994 and starred Tim Allen, Wendy Crewson, Eric Lloyd, Judge Reinhold, and David Krumholtz. And the director was John Pasquin. So this movie is basically about when a man accidentally makes Santa fall off his roof on Christmas Eve, he finds himself magically recruited to take his place. All right, guys, so I've seen this film numerous times and honestly the first time i think i actually ever saw this film was a year later when it actually came out uh it did come out in 1994 i was 14 years old at the time i did not see this when it first came out in the movie theater it was a year later and that's when i watched it i liked it i enjoyed it I, it was funny tim allen is at his best with the comedy playing santa claus I think everybody did a great job on this film. The cinematography, the storyline, the acting, um, the CGI, and you know the special effects were good at the time when it first came out in 1994. But if you look at it now, it's kind of outdated. But at the time, it was good. Especially the part where Tim Allen plays Santa Claus. He shaves his beard, and in seconds, it magically appears. And he does it again, and it comes back again. That's the comedy aspect of this film it's very good also the chemistry between tim allen's character and judge reinhold's character is hilarious because basically tim allen's wife at the time you know they, they did get a divorce and uh here comes judge reinhold who's a psychiatrist and he's kind of a flamboyant psychiatrist in a way so he's always wearing these cheesy ugly christmas sweaters and Tim Allen's just joking around with him about that. He says, oh, where did you get that sweater? And this and that. And it's it's really funny. It is a funny movie. But also having, you know, having a son and being there with his son and trying to spend Christmas Eve with his son. And then, you know, he becomes Santa putting on the, on the coat and they go to the North Pole and yada, yada, yada. I don't want to say too much. Spoiler alert. No, no spoilers here. But most of you guys have seen this film already, so you know what happens. I don't really don't have to explain it. But like I said, Tim Allen, he's he, I think he's 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 a good actor, comedy actor. I mean, yeah, he's had his troubles in life, but he's kind of cleaned his way through it for the most part. But do I recommend to see this film? Yes. Um, kids, yes. Like I said, it's a friendly family movie to see there there is a little adult humor in this if you get it the adults will get it but kids they won't understand it i mean this movie's on probably on netflix amazon prime hulu demand and if you own the dvd or even the vhs at the time even better and now it's time for fun facts and there is um quite a few of these so stay tuned this is the first lead film role for Tim Allen. When Laura, who plays Tim's, or Santa Claus's wife, ex-wife. Actually, in the film, Tim Allen's character name is Scott Calvin. S.C. Santa Claus. Get it? But anyway, when Laura looks at the mystery date game, the music we hear is the jingle from the old television commercials for the board game. And there actually is a hidden Mickey in this film. When Scott and Charlie, who's his son, are leaving the North Pole in the sleigh and pass by the moon, the moon has a distinct Mickey Mouse logo on it. The filming took place in Toronto during the summer. When Scott Calvin is ending his first run as Santa, his ho, ho, ho is done, just like I said, just like the Tim Taylor signature grunt. 
Peter Boyle, who is Scott's boss in the first film, appears in the second and third Santa Claus films as Father Time. Eric Lloyd, Charlie, wore fake teeth for the movie because he accidentally knocked out his front teeth before filming began. Also, there is a director cameo in this film. John Pasquin was Santa number six in the police lineup. This was the only Santa Claus movie that did not feature a villain. This was originally going to be released by Hollywood Pictures, but after positive reactions from test screenings among kids, it was shifted to a Walt Disney Pictures release. A good amount of the backstory was taken or possibly inspired from Amazing Stories Santa 85, which came out in 1985. That was a good show. I watched that. When Charlie and the elves enter the jail, the door can be heard closing before it actually does close completely. And finally, the only Santa Claus film not to feature Mrs. Claus, Carol Newman, Curtis, and Lucy. And that's it, guys. That is my Christmas movie review for Disney's The Santa Claus, which came out in 1994. I hope you guys enjoyed that. As usual, smash that like button, support, share. Hit that notification bell, notify my next video or vlog will be up. Also, check me out on Instagram under the same name, Movie Mania Nick. And remember, stay safe, be excellent to each other, and party on, dudes. And have a nice holiday.